Today I'm going to show you how to use Google Forms Go to Section feature to create differentiated instruction in your classroom. The end result is an assessment where students will answer questions, and if they answer incorrectly, it will take them to review materials and follow up assessment, and if they answer correctly, it will allow them to skip ahead to the next question. Begin by creating a Google Form. Add in all of the important information you need to gather, like email, name, date, and class period. And once you have that set up, click on this button down here. It is the Add Section button. It looks kind of like an equal sign. And that will create a section where you will add your first question. So you can title it, and then build your question, and add answers. Don't worry about this part now. We'll come back to that in a second. Once you have that question set up, go ahead and click Add Section again. In this section is where you'll add your review materials for the previous question. So if students answer incorrectly, it will take them here. In this section, I like to add videos, but you can also add links to other resources so that students can relearn the material if they don't fully understand it. And then add a question to verify that they did relearn the material. This question could be the same as the previous question, or it could be a new question based on the same content. Once you have your review section done, you can create another section. That will allow you to create your next question. You'll want to continue with this pattern all the way down until you are done with the activity. To use the Go To Section feature, you want to click on the three dots down here. Once you open that up, you'll see Go to Section Based on Answer. Select that and you will see these drop-down options pop up in your question. You'll notice there are three that say Continue to Next Section. Those three are the incorrect answers, and if they select those, it will take them to the Review section. The correct answer says Go to Section 4, which will allow them to skip ahead, uh, past the review, to the next question. Here's what it looks like on the student end. So when I'm here, after I've put in my information on my first question, if I get it correct, it allows me to skip ahead, past the review section, to the next question. However, if I get it incorrect, it takes me to the review materials, where I can view the video, access the web resources, or whatever review you've embedded here for the students. Once I've reviewed the materials, I can go to this question and attempt to verify that I now understand the material. 